On July the 14th, 2017, Fairfax Police answered a call to attend a residence on Dean Drive in McLean, Virginia. Upon entering, they saw two bodies. The first body is of Pamela Hagen, who was 63 at the time, with a rifle wound to her head. The second body was 23-year-old Helen Hagen, the daughter of Pamela, with two rifle wounds to the head. The scene to police appeared to be a murder-suicide, as between Helen's legs was the rifle used to take the lives of the two bodies. Five days later, on July 19, 2017, Fairfax police bring in Megan Hagen, who is the daughter of deceased Pamela and older sister of deceased Helen Hagen, for questioning. Please keep in mind, she was interrogated twice. This is interrogation one, which I'll play for you, and on another date in the next week or so, I'll have the second interrogation up for you. Please keep that in mind. My dad, just very briefly, my dad um, left our family. You, Steve? How long ago did that happen? Started in 99 when 99. he came. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. But because of that, my mom went through a financial difficulty because of him, okay? Because of the divorce. He just, uh, yeah, cause he, he wasn't made to pay child support right away, all this thing, okay? Long story short, the point I'm making is because of that, she squirreled away everything for us. She sent us to private schools after that. I mean, she really gave us everything. I could ask her for anything. Helen, Ashley, Molly did. <laughs> you know what I mean? And yeah, she seemed super fine, Molly. Uh, Super fun. It definitely seemed like she kind of like they were always sort of hanging out. So close. Yeah. And you guys are a military family. You know, I've been through that same thing. A lot of a lot of moving, and it's always good to have family around. My mom she was when, when she had plea for Albuquerque. I told my husband, I said, she can't be out there by herself, okay? And he, and he was like, why well, have to deploy again? It's fine. We knew it was going to probably be short assignment kind of deal. Where did he end up going? No, no, my mom was going to be short. Oh. My husband's always gone to Afghanistan. Yeah. But it was it was so awful out there. I don't know if you've ever been. It's so awful. In New Mexico? And I'm like... It actually made us all a lot closer because it was really all we had. You know, Helen lived in Albuquerque for a little bit, but then she went to school. And my mom bought her the house in, in Dallas because she said it was cheaper to buy her a house there than to make her stay on campus. Do you um, remember, like, the... I'm sorry, I'm just... No, you're, you're fine, you're fine. You said mom, mom bought... When did, when did mom buy that house down there for her? Can you give me, I'll remember, just give me one second. Yeah, if you remember, just tell me. But I think when we talked last, you said something about she had sold She just sold it. Okay, so okay. the process started for the house in Dallas to sell in February. A lot of suspects will do what Megan has just done. At the beginning of the conversation, they'll try and invoke a sympathetic view from the police officers. My father had problems, my family had problems. Look at me, look how I was wronged, look at all the difficulty I'm going through, look at my life. It's as if the suspect is going through a mini therapy session where they're just trying to get it off their chest as it may have been a weight on their shoulders to know that potentially they have committed something so heinous. Whilst trying to invoke sympathy from the police officer at the same time, by saying what Megan has, she perhaps has given the police a reason on why this crime took place and from what she said, it could have been financially motivated. Finally, the suspect will plant the idea in the police's head that maybe her sister Helen did this. By doing so, she must first build a picture of Helen that she is a troublemaker. She's going to mention drugs, financial difficulty and how she had problems with her mother where the police could perhaps divert their attention from Megan on to Helen. She was even dating him. Right. We just put two and two together that something had changed. I tell him this was not my sister. 
Um, this is not Alan. This is... What do you mean? You mean, uh... Just the person mean... she's become. It's just not her yeah. sister. She's... How do you remember her? I mean, because... Sort of like when we were talking about me asking you about your mom's money. Like I don't, I don't know you guys. I know. I, don't, I know. You know. I'm trying to, I'm trying to understand. She was very self-conscious, but we always told her she was beautiful. Ashley and I are much older. Mm-hmm. I did not spend a single day away from her until I was about 16. You know, and I took her everywhere I went, and I don't, I mean. It was just because, like, I was in high school and had to do more, yeah, sure, you know, sure. work and all that. <laughs> Absolutely. We were, we were really close when she was younger. As she was getting older, I was more like a mom. And I, I was, you know, I didn't want her making bad decisions or anything like that. And Ashley's our peacemaker, so she could always, she would tell Ashley first because she knows Ashley would never get upset of anything. Oh, right, right. But, like, you know, if she had gotten a bad grade or something, I would get upset. So I just, I, well, we like all you, wanted the best for her. Absolutely. So when you're 16, how old is she? Six. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. So you are kind of like a mom to her. And she's coming up. Even if, even after that. And she was with me in the delivery room because Molly was three months premature. <laughs> he had just left the day before. Uh, or two days before for his husband. second deployment. Oh, yeah. I had just gotten on track, literally just gotten on track here the day before. Helen drove me to the hospital. I, I was in the antepartum room for four days. And I went into labor. And my mom and Helen were there. We were all worried about Helen. Okay, she was not... She's, she's always been... Do you... She was diagnosed with depression. Wow. When was that? I'm sorry. When was that? You know what? Ashley might remember exactly. Okay. She only went on meds for a little bit, and she said she was feeling better, and then she stopped her medication. But that was like two years ago, I think. Do you... She was still in her sorority. I do, so I do remember in that. It was in Texas when she was diagnosed. Okay. Where did she go to school in Texas? Southern Methodist University. SMU? SMU, okay. yeah. Yeah. That's why mm. Molly has like a lot of Peruna stuff. Yeah. We spent, we hated Albuquerque. We would drive from Albuquerque to Dallas almost every yeah. weekend. We hated it. That's when, and it's a ten-hour drive. So. Jeez. Yeah, we just couldn't. Do you, do you remember at all what she was taking? Oh, for like, no, she was in Dallas. We were here. Okay. I just know Ashley. I know she. She would tell. I think, she knew she could tell Ashley more. Because I actually want to tell my mom, but she knew if I was concerned about something, I would tell my mom. Sure. Sounds like sisters. Yeah, I mean, we were. We were so normal. I, I think we were normal. Did, uh, did Helen ever have any issues with mom that you were aware of? You mean, like, being mad at her and stuff? Just any, yeah, anything. Anything between them that was... Oh, well, yeah, because of uh, the Carlos. Because of Carlos. Yeah. What was and that? she was also in a master's program, and she dropped out of that. This, that's how we knew something was up with her. We didn't know it was him. We didn't. I will be very honest. We just thought something was wrong with her. Maybe she needed... You know, we just didn't know. What, what was the master's program for? Um, she's a... She has two degrees. She's a... Tell me those. What are the degrees in? EMIS, which is Engineering it's Information Systems. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. It, mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry. And ma- Mathematics. Mathematics. And... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The Master's was an OR, I think. Operations Research. Mm-hmm. I'm sure okay. you obviously know bit of that probably more than I do <laughs> my dad's the engineer Helen was accepted to the Air Force Academy for Aeronautical Engineering wow she decided to go to SMU she was I took her to go see SMU yeah I got to take her on the tour and everything I was I, I told her I said I wish I had gone here because Drexel was awful it's in the city it's in Philly it's disgusting but She, she, she 
going to sorority. Which one? If you, you knew Helen, yeah. Oh uh, uh, man, hold on. I know there's so many of them. Sorry. The suspect has done everything she can so far to rip apart the perception of Helen. She said Helen didn't mention her boyfriend Carlos to the family. Helen is no longer the sister that she knew. Helen was very self-conscious. She, Megan, has portrayed herself to be caring and nurturing. I just wanted her to do well in school. She's joined a sorority. I was so happy for her. She mentions her depression. But then she says... The Helen dropped out of school and it was because of her boyfriend Carlos but then she also mentions Helen has two degrees so it seems to me perhaps Megan is describing herself but using her sister as the cover-up. We're gonna help gonna wear a dress. <laughs> <laughs> She's doing really well. Yeah. Really well. And then just When did she drop out of that master's program? November. November? Of this year? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it was yeah. 2016. Yeah. 16. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And then she moves back up here. What happens after that? She was going back and forth whether or not she wanted to move back. My mom said, Helen, I'm retired. I can't afford it anymore. Can't, I can't afford to have you out there and not here. I will pay for everything if you move back here. I'll get you a house here and all that. I think my mom knew more. I know my mom knew more than I knew. Okay. About what? What do you think? About the reason she was like becoming flaky and angry and all that. Okay. Okay. So we went to Scotland in December for Christmas. And I mean, she was like even I mean, she was okay. I would say half the time, and we have pictures, like I can see, you know. But she was kind of upset, and my mom was like, "I just want to get her away from him, and like let's just have a nice family trip." My mom was planning a family trip this week for the Outer Banks, oh. so my husband and I could move all of our stuff into the new house. And have Molly out of our hair, and then we were gonna join them. Later on, yeah. I had to tell our realtor's also a really good friend of ours. I had to tell him, you don't understand everybody that, you know, that my mom liked her. She's HR, and I know a lot of people hate HR, but. Yeah. She's like, she created things, she created, like, Bucky implements all this yeah. like people saw that was her yeah she's definitely she's successful. incredible yeah absolutely she's incredible so then mom buys mom buys or how no. does that work with her house helen's okay so i think it was it was february okay of this year this year she started looking because at first helen was going to be in pennsylvania because ashley said you know just get you guys are all so tense when you're in the same house, you know, because we're all, like, type A, you know. <laughs> you know. Typical sisters. I'm going to admit the absolutely. And right. Helen and I both have OCD, um, which is hard to tell because, like, you know, my stuff really wasn't there. How did, how does, your, how does yours manifest itself? Like, what are your little... Um, organizational. Organizational? I'm very neat, and I clean. And I is mom like that, too? Because, I mean, that house mm -hmm. was immaculate. No. Is that you doing it? Did you open any drawers or cabinets? Yeah. My mom's like a hoarder. Yeah, I would say that I understand that. Okay. But I it was wanna, very neat. That's a really mean word. No, not at all. I mean, she had like it a lot of batteries true, in a drawer. It takes two truckload, two truck r rigs to yeah. move her. She has a lot of stuff. She has a lot of shoes. Yeah. Lots of shoes, man. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> she has tiny feet. She's really petite. Yeah. None of us are like that. But did she share your, her banking stuff with you guys and stuff like that? I mean, like I, I she is like a, um, you mean like a mouse? Is that what you mean? No, like you know, some families they'll have like your situation. You have 
a mother and two daughters live yeah. with her, say, hey, you know, if you need, this is my password, this is my stuff, oh, here, no, access no, account. No. So she would never give you no, guys no, that No, 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 we're right. very so private. So she's private about that. We're all very private okay. about that. Okay. Very, very careful. Which would make sense, because you said you, you don't know the password to mom's, like mom's phone or your sister's phone. I gave phone. them every number I could possibly think of. i January 11th, so she would never use something that was 111, you know what I mean? Well, yeah. I don't use that. Yeah. Right, but you guys didn't share a checking account or share a savings account. You guys Not didn't. for a long time, no, because you know, there's... We're not, I'm not a minor. Like when I was a minor, right. I would deposit my paychecks in sure. her accounts. But like now, no, she's she, a private person. She no, has her yeah. own accounts no. and you guys have your own accounts. Yeah, because I, okay. I, if I need to say, mom, I need this. I could go in, I could say, mom, can I have $500? And she said, okay. Right. <laughs> it was really, or yeah. um, she was, now I do not understand this amount. And this, this is what I mean. We have no idea of any of this. But she said, I have to to not alert the IRS, she said. Right. I can give each of you a certain amount for your housewarming gift. Mm -hmm. Ashley's, Ashley's, my sister Ashley that's here, both of her uh, parents-in-law have passed away, so they inherited that house. Um, I don't know what she was going to do for them. But it was the same amount. We each were going to get $14,000. Okay. The police have done a fantastic job so far. They are now varying the conversation to finances and home ownership. The reason why is because the police at this moment in time, which Megan was unaware of, managed to obtain some evidence to suggest maybe Megan did this. As on the day that the lives were taken of the two individuals, Megan transferred or tried to transfer $400,000 from her mother's account to her own account as she was closing on her home. How much, when were you guys supposed to go to settlement? The closing was on, it had to be done by the 14th. Okay. The closing actually got done on the 13th. Okay, and what? Did, how much did you guys owe the settlement company? It was... For, the, the real, for this purchase. It was... Oh, shoot. 418 5 was the purchase of the house, but okay. we already put down 1000 and So then, for seventeen five roughly is what roughly, you're Roughly, but then you have closing costs, but West Virginia, it's like nothing for the buyer. Well, that's good. Relatively speaking. Yeah, so... Um, I know he sent me the amount, and I know I gave it to my mom. She had my daughter. On um, which, this is on? Thursday. So the, thir the 13th. 13th. She okay. initiated the wire transfer. She said, okay, they're going to call me back. They have to verify. I have my number. Sure. Here's the number. So if anybody calls, here's the number that they gave me. It's like a, I don't know what they call it. I'm going to call it a work order number, kind of like something was initiated okay thursday was your mom in pennsylvania or was she, she here was, she's both okay both. what time what time about like when you're back in the car out right because mom's going with molly yeah to pennsylvania is helen ashley is helen with them no is helen no, no. Okay, she wasn't so. even awake yet so she's still sleeping to my knowledge it was her door she had, i didn't see her okay so mom backs out goes down the hill to, mm -hmm. to loop around you can loop around there. and that's when okay. she's meeting ashley for lunch or something lunch. right okay so she stops and we just it was quick, and she said, is there fast food in there? I said, yeah. She's like, just throw it away. And I said, okay. And that was it. I pulled the car back in. I put the keys back in. Um, yeah, when my she, mom when mom's in Pennsylvania, house. does she ever call you? Oh, yeah. We were in uh, constant contact. Did, so did she say the wire went through? No. She said, no. That's, okay. Okay. So she called me, and she said, Somebody tried getting into my account for four hundred one thousand dollars. I said, "No, mom, it was it was four eighteen, four nineteen, or whatever, whatever it amount came to." You you and, told you you told her how much the person was trying to get into her account. No, what? she told me. She told you four. Somebody tried to get into my account for four hundred one. Yes, and, and I you said no. And I said no. I said no, mom. The the amount was four eighteen, four nineteen. She said no, no, no. They just called me, and there was another wire transfer. Oh, that, that's ah, what she said okay. Oh, okay. and she yeah. started panicking I assume because of the amount sure. and I don't know how much was in there sure. and she said I don't want because the day before Richland, Richmond America was asking about her account the home building yeah okay. because they wanted insurance and she's like we're not even close to, to closing yet what is what are they doing they're the she said they're the only other company that had access to that account and that and they are the builders for the yeah. all the yeah. Pennsylvania so she said, listen, Megan, I told them to freeze the account. Just let 
everybody know that there's been a clerical, there's a clerical issue, there's an issue. Sure. I can't do anything about it until I get back to Virginia and I'll go to the bank. I said, okay. Um, she, I'm sorry because we had other things that happened in between the times that she yeah, got back. Yeah. Um, she got up to the house, she got up to the restaurant with Ashley. We were texting. I mean, you guys got my phone, you know, like, give me my phone. You can see the text that were back and forth. She was like, okay, listen, I froze the account. I'm going to deal with this when I get back down there. Go to the Capital One Bank in McLean. Because the branch? They, because they worked for me. There's an old, an older Asian lady. I don't remember her name. She's like the second or third cubicle on the left when you walk in. She knows me. Verify that they've been frozen. So I went in there. Her name's Deanna Lee. She said, I need her social. I said, I don't have her social. I need a caller. She but said, you, you went in there and you found Deanna Lee? I did. Okay. At first, she didn't remember my mom. What time What time do you think you were oh, Sir. Was it early in the morning or, like, afternoon? Oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm sorry. Like, no, I wasn't... Well, I mean, if I... Can I go through my text? I can tell you. you it's okay. It doesn't matter. I mean, okay. It, yeah, it's not, it's not... I'm just curious if you know. Afternoon. Okay, so afternoon. Because she initiated all this before she left. Gotcha. Um... So I, I sat with Deanna, and I said, "Can my mom's on the phone right now. Can you talk to her? Okay. And so she you, said, I can't you, do that. You called mom from the bank? Yes. Okay. I, I said, you. mom, you're going to have to give her your social, because I don't know your social. I don't. Yeah. This is you. <laughs> right, okay? Because right. this is private, you know? Sure. Because my mom's like, no, like, that amount's not right. Somebody else is trying to take, you know, freaking out. Mm -hmm. Of course. My so gosh. did the wire ever go through on Thursday? No, because okay. th she said I'm going to have... Okay, hold on. So I gave Deanna, my mom's full name, mm -hmm. address. She said, oh, I remember her. She she came in with her niece. I said, no, it was probably my daughter. Because my mom started an account for my daughter. My daughter started a poop scooping business. Oh, nice. So my my mom started an account, and she actually had to do, like, hours. She worked and everything. And so she's sort of paying Absolutely. her, like, yeah, that's cool. she, okay, so she has that. The suspect has confirmed to the police that her mother was to pay for her home. This plays into the hands of the police as they suspect that the mother may have refused to pay and perhaps Megan took her life in retaliation of this refusal and in the middle of doing so, tried to fraudulently transfer this sum of money from the mother's account to her account. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, no, you're fine, you're fine, just take your time. I was on the phone with her, too. Right, she called you. Second. Yeah, I know, I know. After the wire transfer. Why, what the you were not on the phone with her for this. No. no. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. Right. Were you, uh, Ms. Hargan, Listen. can you tell me the source of your last deposit? I don't need to know the amount. I just need to know how it was done and where it was from. It was interest. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I thought you... I'm sorry. No, no, this is mine. Do you recognize that, that, is that your mom talking? I do have your account in front of me. And, um, I yeah, saw her. It was interest. Uh, I heard her. Uh, just one second here. No, I heard, I heard her. Was that your mom? And I last question for you, uh, Ms. Hargan. Can you tell me the source of your last deposit? I don't need to know she the said, amount. Yeah. I, just need I to want know you to hear what, what she said. That was it. So this is okay, just a little bit after correct. you made the first call. Yeah. You're calling her right back, okay? Yeah. About about okay. that wire. Yeah. I do have your account in front of me, and um, here that um, somebody tried to do a wire out of your account for four hundred some odd thousand dollars. What? Yeah, that's what the other for how much? was saying. Four hundred some odd thousand, he said. No. No? I did not do that. No, that's well, what no, she I said. Well, no, I know you don't have the money there, but this is what he's telling me that the reason why you're calling. He called you because of a uh, pending wire, and then you told him that you didn't do any wires. Is that correct? Correct. Correct. Okay. Okay. You made me nervous for a minute. I'm sorry. I'm, um, very, I'm sorry. Okay. okay. So, um, what I have done Then is, why did she uh, say 400000 no, this, this wire would have been yeah. um, out of the I don't think that she did. Is that correct? 
She I don't know. I didn't know. He just told me there was a wire. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Okay
the basics, I guess, mm-hmm. that I would need. That I would need. Okay, so she told you to act. Go ahead and make. Go ahead no, and no, call no, no, and no. act like me. She just said, give them the information for the transfer. That's all she said. Okay. What's peculiar about this, purely from a procedural point of view, is if my mother was to say, hey, True Red, or Cameron, rather, uh, yeah, just let my bank know that you can take X funds or tell them I'm going to pay the bill on this day or whatever, my normal response would be, okay, do you want me to call them now? Because I need you, otherwise they won't speak to me. This is normal. So her hesitation, her jumping back and forth, her silence in her head, she's trying to come up with the next lie and the police are right now honing in on all the evidence they have. Okay. He's out there. Okay. Did, did anyone know that you were wiring the money? That you were that you were acting like your mom and you were tri- wiring the money? Did anybody well, know no, that? No, of course not. Because No, of course not. I mean, let's be Why wouldn't they know? Because it was my it was only in my husband's name. Right. But I I'm, even said I even told him the closing attorney. No, but did you tell anybody else? Did you tell your no. sister? Did you tell anyone? No. Okay. So then at 1201, 12.09, your sister, Helen, yeah. calls Carlos and says, my sister just killed my mom and she's transferring money. And lo and behold, guess what? We find your voice on a banker line no. transferring money. It's true. We just listen. You just no, no, listen no, no, to no, it. No, 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 no. No, no, that's not what I'm saying, though, too. So what? Explain. So all this looks like you killed your mom and sister. So I help think us. Helen like, would have let me get. A, like, she would have not called somebody. Um, what you're not saying is no, I didn't kill. No, her. no, no. I said no, I didn't. <laughs> you did. No, I said no, I didn't. Okay. Just help help I'm us sorry. understand. Yes. Help yes. us yes. understand. Yes. Yeah, you're very nervous because you realize what you've done. No, I'm saying this is this, like. It's crazy. Yeah. I agree. You got caught taking four hundred eighteen thousand dollars out of your mom account. Things, terrible things happen all the time, for a variety of reasons. I'm not terrible. Listen, to it, this was a big mistake. Any... I agree. I bet you can't. I believe you. She even I believe you. That... But not four hundred eighteen thousand. Absolutely. She, she had no idea. Listen, me. she had no idea, no idea that that money was going out. She is completely yes. surprised when that when the guy from Chase, Capital One calls her to ask her about a wire transfer. She has no idea. No idea. And I know that you had mom's phone on Friday morning at 1238 because that's the number that they, that recording that you hear that you said is you, that number that's called is your mom's phone. No, I said it was the house phone. No, the house phone. It's not the, I know it's not the house phone. I already know what phone they called. I've talked to them. They called mom's cell phone. I mean, I was at the house. I never said it. I always, I was with them. You, but here's the issue. agree with you. Okay, here's the huge issue. My daughter was... I'm not even... I understand that. Here's the, here's the big issue. He just explained it to you. We know what time Helen calls Carlos, okay? We know, and it's before this phone call. We know that. We know what Helen told Carlos. We then know what you do after this, okay? So we already know that your mom's dead at 12.09. Just to provide you further context, this is Carlos calling the Fairfax police at the time of the murders. Fairfax County Police and Fire, how may I assist you? Yes, I need an emergency. Uh, I need a, uh, uh, my girlfriend told me that her sister killed her mom. And now my girlfriend won't answer her phone. And so and she said she killed her mom? No, no, she said her sister killed her mom. Girlfriend at home right now? Well, that's the thing. She won't answer her phone, and, and I'm thinking maybe something bad happened to her, too, because her sister's crazy. Why do you say her sister's crazy? What has she done in the past that you know of? Yeah, uh, she's beat up her mom before and she's had issues with her mom. And, and then, like, she sent me, like, she, I kept calling, and then I got a text, okay? And then the text said stuff that, my girlfriend wouldn't say. Like I know my girl, my girlfriend's sister got a hold of her phone. I know that's not my girlfriend talking. And now I tried calling her, and her sister refuses to let me talk to her with my girlfriend. But she is answering the phone. Yes, yeah, she's not answering. Not her sister's not answering the phone anymore. 
but I kept asking her to let me talk to my girlfriend, and she would not let me do it. Listen to what, let me, let me explain it to you, and then you explain it to me. I already know that your mom is dead when that phone call is made. How does her phone get over to where her body is and set on top of where she's found? She always carries her? No. No, she couldn't have listened. No, I'm sorry. Okay, it's fine. Okay. She, I'm telling I'm, you, okay. I'm telling you, where her phone is found, she didn't drop it there. It's impossible. Somebody set it down. Okay? I want Listen closely. I want you to follow I'm what listen, I'm saying. Sir, I am listening. Helen calls Carlos. You have no reason to know that she did that. Where? I know. I know you don't. Where? She calls him at 12.09. We were all in the same house. Before. That's fine. Yeah. She tells him that you shot mom and that you came up and you told her. Okay? I'm just listening to what I'm saying. And how? She tells him that at 12 and 9. Okay? That's right around the same time that you're on the phone doing the initial call to ask for that second wire transfer on Friday morning. Okay? I know it is. No, don't shake your head. I know it's the same time. No, I'm, time I'm, I'm, okay. Okay? About 10 minutes before that, listen to me. About 10 minutes before that, about 10 minutes before that, about 10 minutes before that, you call your mom's phone. Okay? Yeah. I think that you're looking for that phone. Because you don't. Oh my God. You don't, she doesn't answer the phone. If she's, in the, if she's in the same house as you. She, no, no, no. Yes, she did. I was down in the basement. No, I know she didn't answer the phone. I know how, I know the length of the call. You gotta understand. When I'm talking to you about phone calls and phone records and stuff like that, I, I'm not asking you. I know how long. I know. I know exactly what okay. I know exactly the phone call you're talking about. Okay. I was downstairs. Okay. Grab grab my phone. I know exactly I the phone call. Okay. So Megan, tell me this. You were there, right? You were there at the house, so one o'clock, one thirty, whatever you said. So tell us what happened. Just the day? Yeah. yeah. Your mouth is so dry you want some water? No, I'm like just that's saying, nerves. I'm just Right, oh, your, yeah, bo your oh, body, your body is going through trauma and stress right now because you got this incredible lie you need to get no, out. I'm just like, oh yeah, I'm sick to my stomach. Sure, you're, you're, you're realizing your world's co we coming down. This is this is such a. I okay, was somebody else in the house with you? My daughter. Right, and your daughter me. surely didn't do this. No. Right, so that leaves you. And that's exactly why I said. You can look at him all no, you want to. The answer's right here. I don't understand. All right. That's exactly why I said. To tell the truth, that's all we want from you. Is because you shot your mom. No, I did not. You covered her up with a blanket because you're gonna live with the guilt. Oh no! And then you used your phone and you got your money for your settlement, but the bank was already on to you. And and what? Nobody was ever gonna come to the house. We were you haven't thought that through house? yet. Are you kidding me right now? You You're coming been... back the next day. Right. Then why does your sister call I Carlos do not know. and tell him the truth? I do because not know. Because he spends an hour trying to call 911 I do to make know. sure the love of his life is fine. They were on the phone. Right, they were no, on I the phone. I was there. Oh, I know. You killed your mom and you oh, were trying to run money. No. You need to. No. <laughs> Megan, Megan. I don't know why this is funny. Megan, it's Megan. true because you're lying like crazy. No, Listen to I'm me. Not. You need you need to get this off of your shoulders. This is going to you're never going. This is never going to get better. See the little white things right here? Just tell us the truth. I'm yeah, telling you the guilt coming know. right out of your mouth. We already know. We already know. I'm telling you I know. You think I'm telling you everything that I know about this case? No. Exactly. There is so That's much. That's why I gave you guys everything. I understand. You, and you, you didn't, didn't give us everything. everything. That's not true. You're lying again. You didn't tell us that you sent a statement. You changed the statement to your name. You I did. did not. Yes, you did. Yes, oh, you did. come yes, you did. on. Where was I going to change it onto? <laughs> you already did. You changed your name to your, on your mom's statement to send out to secure how can to I secure do, that. How closing. can I change their name? You did it. How? Tell me how you did it. I, I didn't. You, you did how would I be do it in the Photoshop easy. program? It's no easy. It's it's easy. Photoshop it's program. program. It's easy. Why did you put? Why did you put the rifle case in your sister's car? Ah, before I don't listen. I don't want you Remember to make Remember, there's cameras. Mistake. I know there's okay. cameras. Okay, that show the entire driveway. That show the entire. You telling me you didn't walk out that house with a rifle case and put it in your sister's car? Yeah, I have the big black one. No, 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 the camouflage one. Thank no, you. you didn't for really. that for the no, no. Okay. What did you put in your See, sister's car? What you're not realizing is your family is being told all this stuff right now. No, I know. Yeah. Right. Now they're going to be swimming in quite. They're going to be. They're they're up there right now. So what's the no. an, what's no. the answer? Okay. You, you've never answered my question. What's the answer to 
wiring the money. Did your mom approve it or not approve it? Yes. Okay. How did she approve it? She told. She wrote all that information down on the paper. Just because she writes the information down, that I'm means so, okay. you're supposed to act like her and do it? No, she told me that. Answer this. Because she this was is, already going to Pennsylvania. This is a more important question yes, for me. Yes, yes, On three different occasions, yes. you told me, me, personally me, Yes, I found that your mother called and initiated the wire, that your mother did. You told me three times, three separate times. That is a complete lie, right? That's a lie. That's a complete lie. That was her on the phone. Why in the world would you? That was her on the phone with. No, no. That, I it just was, said you said, you said it was, right? Yeah, yeah. That's a complete lie. Why in the world would you lie to? If I, I'm here investigating the murder of your mother and the death of your sister, which is undetermined as to how she died. Okay, you understand what I'm saying? I'm investigating that. During that investigation, to try to figure out what happened to the two people you're supposed to love, you completely lie to me about something that is so important. Why in the world would you do that? Yes, but it's not how it would look. No, I knew how it would look. No, no, it's not how it would look. You knew that if we knew about this... That would shine a whole new light on you. But that I I gave you everything no, that you, you guys want. You've been you've no. been you've okay, been no, crafting no, no, no. You, crafting yeah, crafting. That's not a telling me that your mother made all this stuff and trying to. That's not crafting when it's clearly okay. Tell us the truth. I'm not explain to be me. Smart. I understand. I'm not no, to go ahead. <laughs> explain to me. Explain to me what you put in, in your sister's car so I understand it. So I can so I can explain this. When you go outside, what do you put in your sister's car? Why do you do it? If I'm looking at if I'm looking at video, how do you exp what do you, what do you put in the car? You I was what? put I was packing my car. Uh -huh. What did you put in your sister's car? Uh -huh. Just what did you put in your sister's car? I know what it looks like, but you you would need to if, if all of that happened, okay? If all of that is the truth. Why in the world would you need to put the rifle case in your sister's car? I can't explain that. You have to tell me that. If there's a reason, today's the day to tell me. Because I can't think of one. And it's all time stamped. Everything, I know, I know whatever you have. I know. You need to tell me why. what happened, why you put it in the car. You need to come clean. If you didn't do it, why can't you explain to me what you put in the car? Why can't you? This, I've asked you seven times. No, I'm sorry. I, I can't believe you. Couldn't, you I, didn't, mm -hmm. I can't believe you. you, think you killed As the interrogation goes on, they keep going back and forth. You did it. No, I didn't. And now Megan's patient is starting to wear in where her tone becomes a bit more aggressive. Take a look. I understand what you're saying. And I know... How awful it looks. Mm. I did not kill my mom and my sister. Period. There is... I did not kill them. Jesus. I mean... My mom's been upset with me over things before. And I... Oh, God, this is the end of the world. And, you know, she's mad at me or whatever else. And then it's fine five minutes later. Ten minutes later. Does your sister know where the gun is? My sister knew it was in the house, yes. That's not what I asked you. I don't know if Helen knew where it was or not. Uh, she was talking at me, staring at me, and it was directly beneath me. I, don't, I have I don't no know idea she... what you're talking about. What, 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 put that in context. What do you mean by that? She's talking to you. When is this going on? Where are you sitting? When she came down that morning, because we were still in the family room. Yeah, you? Yeah, I guess you I haven't been by my I just don't want to be with you. I understand. I know how it looks. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I know you are. No, I mean like I'm sorry that I... I know you are. I would never hurt my mom and my sister. I think it's, it's important for you to understand that 
No matter what I think, I don't think you did anything on purpose. I don't think you did anything. I mean, I'm just trying, I'm just relaying to you about, I'm talking about me, I'm talking about you. We talked about you for a couple of hours. I don't mind sitting in here with you. I mean, that's the, I don't judge you. I don't judge anybody in here. That's not my job. I didn't say. I, didn't no, I know. Say I'm just. That. I'm just talking to you. I'm not saying that you said anything. This is just. This is surreal. This is like not. I Every time something happens where the police are involved, right, and we come out and we conduct an investigation, they're always different. Okay. Uh, the because, situation, you mean? Yeah, because yeah. the situation kind of dictates some of the aspects of the investigation. Yeah. Okay. So a lot of things that you think I might have done, um, sometimes I don't do them in... The order you might think I should do them in. I, I didn't know what order to do them in. Right. right. I, I don't. I don't expect you to. You know. But that. I mean. That's. I'm just answering your question. Sometimes we do things. Sometimes we don't. I mean, I. I lived at the house. I was at the house. I know. I know. Two I know. years. Yeah. And I. I didn't understand why I hadn't like you know like fingerprints or like even. You know, like Molly or my husband or Ashley or anything else, I didn't understand. Mm -hmm. well, because most of those people weren't there that morning. I mean, Molly was, but no, I understand that, mm -hmm. but like I didn't. I don't know what. First of all, I didn't know like where. First of all, I didn't know where what where they were. Well, okay. Because okay. my husband told me. Told you. He told me. To, he told me to stay out of two places. Is what he told me to do. Mm -hmm. Do you want to talk about that? Where, I mean, where? Where did he? What did he? What did he tell you? He told me they were in. That my mom was in what we call the mud room. Mm -hmm. And he told me Helen was in her room. Okay. And he knew we weren't going to have to go in either of those places for any reason anyway. So you said, just don't, just don't go in there. So you've been back to the house, though? Well, yeah, we had to go let the locksmith in. Okay. Did you guys get the door fixed? Is the door no, open? my dad did that. Still, yeah. Because, of, like, reporters and neighbors come into the house and everything else. Yeah. Yeah, he told me he was going to go out there today. He did the trash. Yeah. Yeah. He, well, he just didn't want, like, reporters going through it. Yeah. One of the reporters sent me a thing. He said it was a fan of. I don't even know what the article was. It was just like an Asian family. That's all I saw, and it, it just said like McLean tragedy. He said your it could look like this. Like like that was like this just this thing. Like it was just flipping. How did he send it? What do you mean he sent you something? Facebook. Oh yeah. yeah do you want me to shout it to you? It was no, like, no, no, that's fine. It, They're very good at. Like it's we're it's nothing. It's I don't. I mean, do, do you understand my concern with with some of this stuff? Like the whole thing about your sister's car and stuff. I just don't understand why you don't why you can't answer. Like, I'm sorry. I just me. like why something so simple. You know, when we talk about like the the Capital One recordings. It's very similar, very simple. No, I, no, I told you. And I know, you told, me about told... The, you told me about that. You know, <sighs> I totally understand that. But then I'm why won't you talk to me about the other I'm extremely nervous. Mm -hmm. I've never done this before. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. I understand. I, I don't... I, know I don't know. How, like, my brain is not functioning to begin with. Ashley and I, like, we're talking, but it's like we forget each other's... Like, we forget what the one said to the other. Mm -hmm. I do that all the time, especially with my son. You know, we're having a conversation. No, but no, about, because of like the. Because of this. Yeah, mm -hmm. just. So where else did you say you lived? It was Bragg. 
Where else you guys been? Well, he and I have never lived together before. You and your no, you and your husband. Yeah, never you never lived together. I told you how important my mom was. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know that. That's... Yeah, I told you. I am not lying to you when I tell you my mom is my world. She takes care of me. Takes care of everything. Hmm. Takes care of Molly. So you guys have always lived separately. How long have you been married? Eight years. Over wow. Eight years. We were engaged. We had to keep changing the dates. Mm. It was his family, right, <laughs> to be right. honest. Okay. And um, found out I was pregnant. And I said, listen, you can take off. My mom will take care of us. And he's like, absolutely not. I'm like, Megan, what are you thinking? But I just got, I was embarrassed to be pregnant and not, I mean, obviously, we were engaged. Yeah. So he said, listen, about to deploy. Let's finally do this. And that, is that what he's referencing? So you went over here to get the marriage certificate, and then you went down to Belvoir to get married? It was like the one nice memory. Or like, you know, it was a nice thing to remember. Absolutely. Over the last few days. <sighs> do you have friends come? Or you just for mm -hmm. the ceremony? You didn't have a ceremony? You just did like a mm -hmm. scratch? You stayed. My mom paid for the hotel. Right. I had my dog George with me. <laughs> I didn't realize it that I was starting to go into labor. Mm -hmm. Molly was coming through in this early. But I got really sick that night. And I don't mean to be like, I don't, I'm sure you understand about labor and all that. Yeah, yeah. I have a kid. Like, he's. Yeah. Your body. Yeah, the mucus plug, all, all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, I got you. But I didn't want to alarm him. Uh -huh. He was deploying the next day. So I went into. Uh, I went into what's now Walter Reed's Bethesda. Mm -hmm. Helen went to that stone ridge right next door. Mm -hmm. And got all the paperwork done, everything. Everything was normal. And um, the next day I woke up, Helen didn't drive it. My mom were left for work. I woke up late and Helen was like, Megan, we gotta go. Let's go. We're late. And I jumped up, went to the bathroom, brushed my teeth. I went downstairs. The second I hit the bottom of the stairs, my water broke. I am not kidding you, Helen said, yeah. <laughs> not because Molly was going to be early. Don't get me wrong. But she, she was like, I don't do school today. That was her thought. Yeah. I panicked. I was like, oh my God, what do I do? I didn't know Molly was going to be born alive. Because she just, you said she was early, right? Very early. But they got the steroids in her. They made two cycles of steroids. Helen didn't want to be there. She was there. Helen actually had to hold my leg during the delivery. Mm -hmm. She would tell you that she did more of the labor than I did. Right. She was working harder than you, right? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. She was like, my mom can't stand the sight of blood. This concludes the first interrogation. The second interrogation I'll have uploaded for you in about a week or so. I've also got the case files. I think I have her written notes that she wrote down during this upcoming confession. So comment, tell me what you think of this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video.